today uh, I'd like to explain and talk about my journey. Um, some journeys take you far away to the Middle East. This trip was inspired by my students to learn more. Um, some journeys are closer to home. Um, some journeys are every day. Um, I'd like to talk about with versus at, two simple prepositions that are completely different. Okay, so I, I'm going to start with a ball. What is this? A ball. <laughs> it's a soccer ball, yes. Okay, good. In today's society, we are often told at what to eat, when to have sex, what to design, what to build, what to do, what we should do, what we should be doing, right? At. So, let me illustrate my point. How many of you had at balls thrown at you? At! At! <laughs> if, if <laughs> imagine if they were boulders and they were really big, that would kind of hurt, right? Okay, those of you with balls, play nicely and throw with your next door neighbor. Throw the balls with your next door neighbor, right? That's totally different. Okay, my first story. Uh, this happened in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I was fresh out of graduate school, excited to learn. I joined a nonprofit. I worked under this woman we all called the mayor of Psychotown because she was really mean. <laughs> and she threw at balls at me all the time. Do this, say this, do this. You're terrible, you're a failure. Blah, blah. It was not good. <laughs> Needless to say, I had a lot of nights crying and buying Kleenex tissue boxes. <laughs> then I worked with the founder and the man behind the nonprofit. And he told me, hey, Kyla, why do you keep calling me boss? Just call me your coworker. He taught me with, together. We went to meetings together. He shared everything with me. And that was when I learned two things. One, I didn't want to work in a nonprofit anymore. And, <laughs> and two, I really wanted to start teaching with and how important those lessons are when you're learning with people. This is Brian Bay. He is um, now working at NASA. When I met him as a sophomore in high school, he had two challenges. The first one was English, and the second one is he's hearing impaired. He wanted to learn SAT writing. When I first met him, I was freaking out. Oh my god, what do I, I, I I've never worked with someone who's hearing impaired before, oh my god. Um, and he was the first student to inspire me, really. Um, he worked so hard, day and night, day and night, effortlessly, relentlessly, to get to his goal of going to university. Um, from him, I learned together. We learned with each other. He taught me motivation. What does that look like? What does that mean? I was open to it. I was open to learning from him. Um, I think he learned maybe confidence in writing from me. <laughs> Hopefully something. Um, but the key was that I was open to learning with him, and I wasn't teaching at him. Um, so that's Brian. This is Min Jung. She's a senior at Yonsei. She was one of the first students to come visit me during office hours. I know that doesn't sound like a big deal, but no one comes to visit me during office hours. <laughs> I know. I should start providing free marshmallows. <laughs> so, Min Jung came to me, and we talked not about academic stuff, um, but about life stuff, right? She was thrown at balls all the time, right? People were telling her what she should do after she graduates, what she should do during the summer, what courses she should take, everything. Um, and when she came to talk to me, what I was concerned about was I wasn't hearing her voice. So there was this great breakthrough recently. We had coffee together about a week ago. And she asked me, you know, Kyla, what should I do this summer? You know, I, I think I should 
take economics courses. I'm like, okay, well, maybe I should ask her the question that no one's asked her. What do you want to do? And so I asked her, well, Minjung, what do you want to do? Do you want to take economic courses during summer break? And she was like, no, not really. I want to go to Europe. I'm like, I think you have your answer. <laughs> and then she gave me some great advice. I was like, I'm freaking out about Ted. What am I going to do? <laughs> She's like, Kyla, just be yourself. Have fun. Be yourself. Be colorful. <laughs> Hence the flower. Um, <laughs> so thanks, Minjung. What does this all equal, right? So as we are here in this global age, right, um, there's this expression in Korea, a nail that sticks up will be hammered down. What if in our classrooms, outside our classrooms, in companies, in nonprofits, in government, everywhere, what if we we're learning and creating together global leaders that refuse to be hammered down. What would that look like? Um, I'd like you to join me in applauding what that looks like. Some of my students are here today. I'd like them to stand up. These nails not to be hammered down. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I love you. Don't stop believing in yourself, and it's about the journey. <laughs> Okay.